Hello, this is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lad on C programming. In this video tutorial, we're gonna see the continuous statement in C. A continuous statement is used in uh, C programming when, uh, uh, if you are in the middle of a loop, it may be for or while loop or do while loop, and you want to skip the, you know, remaining statement for some reason, and you want to go to the beginning of the loop, then this continuous statement is helpful. Let's see how we can uh, use this continuous statement in our program. So let's get started. First of all, I'm gonna create a variable called counter. It's gonna be int counter. Then I'm gonna use a for loop. It's gonna be for. Then what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna print the number from one to ten. So I'm gonna initialize this counter variable here inside this for loop. It's gonna be counter equal to one. Then we need to write the test condition. It's gonna be counter uh, is less than or equal to 10. Then we need to increment it. It's gonna be counter plus plus. So we're just gonna print the values. Printf um, percentage d. Then add a new line. Then this counter or reference this counter variable. Save it and compile it using control f9 then run it using control f10 so as you can see here now we have printed the values from 1 to 10 so now uh, for some reason i don't want to print the value 2 so what i want to do is when this counter value becomes 2 i just want to skip this printf statement and continue executing so i'm going to check whether this counter value is, is equal to 2 or not using the if statement so I'm going to use a if then counter equal to 2 then I'm going to say continue mm, okay uh, make a note that you know since we are writing only one statement after this if statement it's not necessary to add the curly braces so save this work using control s control f9 to compile then control f10 so as you can see here now 2 is missing so it's gonna be 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So what happened here is uh, our program first initialized this counter to 1. And then it checked whether this counter value is less than or equal to 10. So it is. 1 is less than or equal to 10. So it it enter this for loop. Here it checked for whether this counter is equal to 2 or the counter variable contains the 2 value. So right now it's containing 1. So this if condition fails then it's gonna print this value so 1 is printed now this counter be becomes 2 because of this counter plus plus now the condition is checked for whether this you know uh, counter is less than or equal to 10 here counter is 2 and it is less than or equal to 10 when it comes here here this if condition satisfies or this if condition becomes true that's because you know 2 equal to 2 and so that we're gonna execute the continuous statement was the effect of this continuous statement is it's gonna skip the printf statement here and it will go to this for loop and you know continue with the next iteration so now the counter is gonna become 3 and 3 is less than or equal to 10 and it's gonna print 3 then it, it then it will become 4 then 5 like that up to 10 so another modification I wanna tell you is suppose uh, if you want to print a list of odd numbers from 1 to 10 so we just have to make some uh, small modification here so that you know you can fit the odd numbers uh, odd number is one uh, which has a reminder which is not equal to zero when you divide by two so we can say that the modulus of the odd number with two is not equal to zero so we can write uh, inside this if condition if then we're gonna write uh, counter mod 2 equal to 0 we're gonna continue so when when this counter mod 2 becomes 0 we're gonna continue so save this work using control s and control f9 to compile and control f10 to run as you can see here we have 1 3 5 7 9 which are the odd numbers then if you want to print the even numbers just make not equal to here then save it control f9 to compile and run it can see here 2 4 6 8 10 so this is about the continuous statement in C so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, you can like my Facebook page at uh, 
facebook.com slash learning lad so see you in the next tutorial